all the way from the Gold Coast in Queensland. Please give another huge round of applause to French teacher Nicole Davies. Good evening. I'm Nicole Davies from Benoit State High School. And Benoit established uh, the first uh, Australian French immersion program in 1985. And I joined the school in 1986, which has been for a long time there. So at a quarter to midnight in my career, I felt that I needed some spice in my teaching life. So when I heard in 2011 about a language world championship, I could not resist. Okay? I was running a very innovative and successful language program. We had to enter this competition and put the Benoa students in it. So I shared the idea with my colleagues and in the first year we actually entered 120 students in the competition. Unlike my compatriot Baron Pierre de Coubertin, for whom participation was the most important thing, for Benoa and for me, it was all about winning. <laughs> Benoa wins the world championships. I joined the Gold Coast Bikini Parade to win the, to enter in the Guinness Book of Record as having the longest parade. The deal was done. I showed the Language Perfect website to our principal, Mark Ricard, and he's a numbers man. He liked it straight away because Language Perfect is also about data. Everything can be checked and measured, and that appealed to him. So being originally a physical education teacher, I had coached many sporting teams during my career, but nothing compared to coaching 120 students in a 10-day language competition. One day on, at the beginning, my principal said to me, oh, if I get 10 bucks for every time I log on to that LP website, I'll have a few thousand dollars at the end of the week. Well, I thought to myself, I'd be a millionaire because I was actually on the website nonstop. We would have meetings in the morning with all the students, talking about strategies. I spent the whole night putting new lists on the, on the website, and uh, we shared ways of, uh, of scoring more and more points. To win the Language Perfect World Championship, it has to be a team effort. Like, I admire Jean Lee for doing all these words. That's amazing. But if a school wants to win, Everyone in the school has to be involved and work very hard. It has instilled a fantastic esprit de corps amongst our students. And success breeds success, and the Benoit kids just couldn't be stopped. I realized straight away that there was a lot more to language perfect than the world championships. It's a great working tool, and it can be exploited in many, many different ways in our classrooms. It definitely co uh, complements the language learning that is happening. And the fact that we can create our own lists and link it to our curriculum is invaluable. So thanks to Language Perfect, at the end of my career, I think that I am finally winning that long battle against near enough is good enough. Language Perfect requires 100% accuracy and it allows for flexibility at the same time. So at Benoa High School, we have, without any doubt, observed a general improvement in spelling, even in English, in vocabulary knowledge, and grammar proficiency. I would like to congratulate and thank the Dynamic Language Perfect team for their innovative ideas, their professionalism, and their enthusiasm. They have made language learning fun, and that's the most important thing, for many, many students around the world. And I would like to wish everyone here good luck in the upcoming Language Perfect World Championships. And I wish you all the, to experience the exhilaration that came with the success that Benoit experienced the last two years. Thank you. I'm just going to do a quick um, 
Wow, yeah, that was actually really good. We'll give her another round of applause. Oh. That's so how we clap in language perfect, just, wow. just you know. Um, Nicole, you're amazing. Uh, you've, you've really defined what success is. Um, just a couple of questions for you. Just talk me through the, the whole idea behind the bikini competition. <laughs> like, like I, mean, I mean, it's the Gold Coast bikini competition, guys. It's, the, it's like, it's a big deal. I mean... <laughs> Nicole is a very beautiful woman, um, and but you know the competition is is more sort of your younger. Exactly. Yeah. Well. I'm going to dig myself a hole here, aren't I? How how was it? Talk me through it. Uh, well, uh, we had a couple of very young teachers and models who were going to enter this competition because the Gold Coast wanted to lift the profile of the city and be in the Guinness Book of Records, and they needed about 160 women walking a mile and a half from the beach in bikini to enter the Guinness Book of Records. So uh, when I presented the Language Perfect competition to the students, uh, I, I said, we are going to win this competition. And they all looked at me and I said, yeah, the world championships, we are going to win them. And the student says, but what are you going to do, miss? I said, well, I'm going to enter the bikini parade. And, uh, and that's how it happened. And I was actually the oldest contestant in the bikini parade. We actually, yes. <laughs> Not the heaviest. Um, and uh, we made it into the Guinness Book of Records. Well done. Excellent. So. And just another question, just any practical tips you can give to the teachers in the audience, you know, how, how do you actually, what's your strategy for, for winning the competition? Just a word of wisdom. Well, we actually make it, uh, we link it to the curriculum we do at school, we develop lists that are relevant to the students' learning, and uh, we also make it part of the assessment, and yes, if you do not score these 3,000 points in the first five days, we don't want you anymore, so uh, you are kicked out. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Nicole.